Earlier in February, we released a blog post and a set of features enabling you to log telemetry from your Power Apps using Application Insights. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you would implement that to actually go out and create your very own Send Us Smiles. Let's go ahead and take a look at the report that I've done at the end. In this report, you can see that I've actually been collecting data for a little while, and I've got 505 different ratings or send us smiles from my application. And the average is 0.22. So every time somebody goes out and gives me a frowny face or an unhappy, I give it a negative one. And every time I get a positive um, smile or a smile, I give it a one. And you can see that I'm actually above the board. Um, in this report, you can see that I actually must have had a release or some sort of experiences that made people unhappy. So how do you create that? Let's get started. If I go back to my browser and go into Microsoft Azure, you can see that Microsoft Applic or, yeah, my <laughs> Application Insights is one of my options itself. To create a brand new Application Insights um, package, I can go ahead and say Add. And I'm going to go ahead and put that into my Chaz kill. And we'll just call this one uh, Bower Apps Video. OK. And at this point, I can go ahead and re review and create. Now, I want to actually have data that's already there just to make it easier for us. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go back into my Application Insights and show you one, one that is just finished um, created. So if I click here. Uh, what you're going to see is that I can go out and grab the instrumentation key. This is what I need to actually get started. But we can go ahead and take a look at some of these other things. By the way, um, I have some requests and some people are asking, how come these boxes are not populated from a Power Apps? And the reason is, is these are actually populated from an agent that is installed on the runtime. Uh, does that doesn't make quite as much sense for Power Apps, but we'll take a look at some of the actually areas that are populated and so that you can take advantage of very, very easily. So now that we've got that instrumentation key, one more time, I'll copy that. Let's go to Power Apps. At the bottom of my create experience for Power Apps, a lot of people actually don't look at this, I can see that there is a leave application. So let's go ahead and create a leave application. Now this is the third time I've done it, so we'll call this one the third video. Oh, maybe without the three, apparently. Okay. And what I want to do here is on every page in my leave application, add a little one of those glyphs for the um, smiley face or the frowny face. So the w easiest way to do that is to use something called a component. And that enables me to write the code once or actually go out and do the markup once and then use that same component across my entire application. So I don't see components here. Let's go ahead and go to file settings, advanced settings, and about two thirds of the way down, I believe, is components. There we go. Now when I scroll back, it says components. I can go ahead and add a new component. Let's call this one send a smile. Uh, this is way too big. So what we're going to do is maybe make the width. Uh, I don't know. It's like 150. Sounds good. And way, way too tall now. And maybe we just make that 100. That's uh, still too tall. How about 50 for the height? Perfect. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and go to Insert, Icons, and um, 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 give me a frowny face. Right, him over here. Come on, Mr. Frowny Face, I want you over here. And let's go back into icons and give me a smiley face. Oh, there he was. And I want a smiley face. I wonder how come the smiley face is above the frowny face. OK, now what I can do is I can go ahead and write my trace function. But I just realized what I had forgotten to do, which is vitally important, is to put that instrumentation key into my application. Let's go back to screens, go to the apps, and you can see that there's that brand new property. And I can go ahead and paste in my instrumentation key. Where did I get that? From my application insights. And I copied that from my instrumentation key. By the way, um, this is supposed to be a secret. Don't share this. But if you guys pipe a bunch of data into my application insights, it's not going to hurt anything because I actually check it with Power BI. And I, I just wouldn't bring that data in. So anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and now go into my creation experience, go back into my components, and actually implement these guys. So the function that we're going to use is called trace. And 
The first argument is, what do we want to call those telemetry signals that we're going to send out? We're going to call that send a smile. The next one is, what is the severity that we want to send it through? So we're going to go out and say severity is informational, since this is just about, um, again, NPS data or actually the smile data. The next argument is a record of a name value pair that we want to send through. So in this case, um, maybe we call the first one uh, Chuck's app name. So if I wanted to use one application insights container for a bunch of apps, I would want to disambiguate my applications. Um, and we'll call this one, I don't know, the leave app. Leave app. And you'll see that I so want to do equal sign, but that's actually not the syntax for, um, for records, but actually a colon is. So now I get to do a comma for my separator. And the next one is my sat value. This is actually the one that is the most important for this demo in this um, video. And that one is going to equal in quotes. So it comes in as a, uh, a string, the value of one. Um, so the next one would be, and once again, I messed up. So this is actually a colon colon and a comma there we go and then last one maybe something like app user and the app user this time i got co uh, the colon right and we'll just cast in user and maybe their full name uh, i need to do the end of the the record itself and i can go ahead and actually close that so let's actually copy all of that um this is positive one for a smiley face good and now if we actually go back in here paste this in for my unhappy face, my grouchy face, and we'll do a negative one. Um, we can now put this throughout our application. So let's go ahead and go back into here, go to custom, and we should find our send a smile, and we'll put that right there. Um, now, I know that we should be making these white and, with, um, and then clicking them up there. That would be the right way of doing it. Um, for the sake of expediency, I'm just actually going to go out and put my send a smile here so we can see them. You won't be able to see blue on blue, so that's not a good experience. Um, let's go ahead and grab this one, and what I'll do is we'll put a send a smile here. You get the idea. And of course, as I do new versions, I could go out and throw version information in there and only change the component, but I can actually see that I actually deployed another version of my application. So let's go ahead and say save. Um, oh, it's fine and save and hit save. Okay, now one word of warning or word of advice is that we will not collect data if you're in the designer or the editing experience. It's gotta be run from the player. So let's go ahead and grab that player URL so that way we can actually start generating some of the telemetry itself that we wanna see. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back in and grab that player link. So let's go ahead and run it. So now this is just sent through an app start telemetry signal. What we want to do is maybe send, let's send two smiley faces, log in as an employee, and send one frowny face. Um, so oh, I think I clicked it. There we go. Now, the SLAs for application insights to go out and show this data is about five minutes. So I, now that I just went to this tab, it probably isn't there, but let's go ahead and show you what that looks like because I can certainly, or something else. I know that um, Angus in the video showed uh, user flows. That's pretty cool. One of the things I actually look at all the time is my funnels. So I want to know uh, how many people started the application and then from the start, how many people got into my home screen. And then I want them to get it to the new request screen. What is my, what is my loss or attrition through my application out. This is something that we look at Microsoft often, um, and we try to figure out why we're actually losing people at different stages, and it's kind of a cool report. Um, so what we're gonna do is show you that telemetry that we just piped through, and you can see that the traces have 770 um, events that have occurred, and the last one looks like it ran a little while ago, so it actually hasn't come through yet. Let's hit run and we'll actually see if we can get it to run. Uh, not yet, but let's actually send you or uh, show you 
what it looks like inside of Azure. So if I go ahead and take a look at one of those Cinda smiles, you can see that I get a create time and I get the message itself. This is actually the message that was sent for my trace. This is that informational. Um, this is the type. And then the values I sent through is a name value pair in that record are here. So here's my Chuck's app name. It looks like I didn't camel case it, um, but there it is. Uh, at this point, I, this is my sat value, so this was a positive one. Now what we want to do is go out and show you how you would get this data in something like Power BI, make it a little bit easier to start doing comparisons, at least easier for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go export, choose export to M, go out and open up that text bag file. So we're going to go ahead and copy that, open that, go back into my um, not my browser, but Power BI Desktop, and go out and do Git Data. And underneath of my Git Data, I'm going to go ahead and say blank query. Uh, looks like it's already done that. Let's try that again. Ah, that's all right. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Advanced Editor. Yeah, we we did do blank query. So if you do Git Data, I don't know if I didn't see it or and I or I automatically defaulted to it because I've done this um, twice before. But go to blank. Um, blank query, and that will let you paste in this M code. Go ahead and hit done. Name it something other than query two, like um, app insights, something. And one other thing that you're going to want to do is um, take your custom dimensions and you're going to want to cast those into, so under transform, you're going to go into JSON, and then you can actually go ahead and take all that those individual columns and actually go ahead and parse them out. So in this case, um, that sat value is, where is it? Oh, here it is, is right here. Now, some of those um, don't have that payload, and this is probably going to cause me an error. Um, but what you would do is actually simply remove the errors from your Power BI report. Um, there are lots of videos on that. I think Reza just went through this on the Dataflow um, webinar he just did a couple days ago. So um, at this point, I don't know if close and apply, let's just see if we can just do a close, it will go back. But if we do hit refresh, what we should see is this 505 goes up to those those incremental that I just clicked on. And you can see that those were those smiley faces made it through, but it looks like the unhappy face has not made it through. So the first two has actually made it all the way into our application, but that frowny face is actually still in, still in flight. And again, what this shows me is that sometime I actually updated my application um, at whatever time this is. And I've actually got it uh, broken out in buckets by the minutes. And that way I can actually go ahead and, and take a look at them as aggregates by the second, you can see that I actually did something in here that caused my users to get fairly unhappy. I would probably also want to go out and take out build numbers. That way I can go out and say, as I did a new build, am I actually increasing the happiness or not? So there you go. This is how you would write send a smile for your own Power Apps application, sending log information into App Insights and using it from Power BI.